Hello friends, that's my old hose clamp tool, but I decided to make a new one. The design is a little bit different and I want to see how it works. As well I want to show you the software I used to design it and how I made the tool with my converted CNC milling machine. In addition I made a little jig in order to prepare the wire to make beautiful hose clamps. If you like this kind of content, please give me a thumb up and click on Abo. Ok, let's get started! For the design I'm using LibreCut. This is a free and open source software, which is easy to learn and to use. As you probably already know, for the toolpath you need an additional software. I'm using Estelcam. Just watch how easy it works. You want to drill a hole, just click on drill. Don't forget to choose the right tool, here a 3mm drill. And very important, don't forget to put your zero, the point where the machine is starting. Of course you can't mill with a drill, so choose another tool. And continue creating your toolpath. Of course the machine need to know how deep you want to cut. So put your toolpath depth. Maybe you need some holding tape so that the part is not wobbling around at the end. Well, that's it, ready to mill. We start with the center drill. Then we change to a 3mm drill for the little notch on the top. Now we change to a 6mm end mill with four cutting edges. And we set the milling machine to full speed. Oops, he had got a little hot. I was worried that I would have broken the cutter, but that wasn't the case. Incredible, these end mills. We still need a little bit of grinding and a little bit of polishing. Before I show you the finished part, I like to show you the little jig I made to form the hose clamps. Here you can see how I create the toolpath with Estelcam. So oh, that's basically it, let's mill the part. And now you want to see how it works? Just put the wire in the jig and then turn the jig around twice. Then take the wire off and put it in the other side of the jig. You can secure the wire with a little washer. Then turn the wire around twice again.
Here we are, a very nice wire hose clamp. Yes, I have to admit, it requires a little bit of practice. But then you have a very nice, safe and tight connection. This connection here I made with a new tool. And this connection I made with the old one. Okay friends, thanks for watching and see you next time.